to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. The United States of America has co-opted the Martin Luther King Jr. imagery and speeches, his pacifism and marching to make him one of the, the greatest American patriots, which he was, but also to propel this like American dream idea, this whole, you know, dream of the what America could be and how he sees America, et cetera, et cetera. You guys feel like we're still on that trajectory? Or have people started being more honest about MLK calling to task, actually, and actually calling out the United States of America for not upholding their promise? I think people are uh, conveniently only remember certain parts. And I've seen that. They use bits and pieces and, you know. I mean, honestly, I think it, I think everyone has a different view of him because he's so ubiquitous as part of culture that you have people who think of him in a very generic way. They just think, I have a dream. That's all they think. This black anything. man was dreaming, yeah. and he, want, sure. he wanted to be accepted by America so bad that he had a dream that one day I don't America think... would love him the way he loves America. I don't know that it's going as deep as you're saying. I think they just go, that's the famous speech, because I have a dream. And then I think there are people who know about the pacifism on a real level and know about how much of a rebel and a patriot he was. I think it's a, a very mixed bag. Well, I want to play you this audio. Um, it's about two minutes of audio. We play it every year instead of playing I Have a Dream, because I feel like this captures more of what MLK was really about, Martin Luther King Jr. Um, let that ring off, Shawnee Culture. All we say to America is be true to what you said on paper. If I lived in China or even Russia or any totalitarian country, maybe I could understand some of these illegal injunctions. Maybe I could understand the denial of certain basic First Amendment privileges because they haven't committed themselves to that over there. But somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech. Somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. And so just as I say we aren't going to let any dogs or water hoses turn us around, we aren't going to let any injunction turn us around. know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead, but it really doesn't matter with me now because I've been to the mountaintop. Mm -hmm. I don't mind. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Yeah, that MLK. Mm. I think that was a day before he was assassinated by a country that he believed in. By people in the country that he believed in, as the FBI tapped his phones, as the as the uh, 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 
as the racists of this nation harassed him, as police abused him and his uh, constituency. And just as everybody gathers and celebrates and remembers the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. on this weekend, um, at least you should be anyway, I want to leave the United States of America with this button. Congratulations, you played yourself. So all that big really talk, how you playing yourself, yo, playing yourself, yo, playing yourself. For several reasons, but why you say so many? They called that guy a terrorist. Yeah, of course. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. at that time, at that moment, having saying those words, holding the United States of America accountable for the promises they made in their own constitution that they weren't living up to. Mm. Not, not, nothing to worry about. We're calling him a terrorist. Hit the button again. Congratulations. You played yourself. Tapping yeah, his phones, harassing All him and that. his family. All that wow. bombing his house. I just, I, I'm gonna give the congrats. If we'll keep related to Dr. King, I want to give the congrats to people who have gotten super lazy and just reference him as like. Tell me if you guys know what I mean. People reference him sometimes in rap records, even as like a standard for being soft. Like I'm not Dr. King. No, <laughs> your fundamental misunderstanding of what it is to be quote hard or soft is so wrong. Your man, my, Martin Luther King, was not scared of anything. He did not believe that the road to getting what was needed was going to be won through violence and was willing to go through anything to do that. The idea of acting in any way like that's weak or soft, please hit yeah, that's the button. A button. That's a button. Congratulations. Absolutely. You played yourself. And you know, um, that went under the radar too is that the government was found guilty of assassinating Martin Luther King. Yeah. Mm. A lot of people don't know that. They just know what was the guy Lee Harvey Oswald. Um, that, Oswald. That yeah. it was on him. No, in '99, it was a conspiracy. It went by the down government. that the yeah. government was found guilty of killing Martin Luther King, and awarded the family one hundred dollars. Congratulations, you played yourself. I'm sorry. Awarded the family one hundred dollars. Yeah, it's on, on December eighth, nineteen ninety nine. Yep. 12, 12 jurists unanimously rendered a guilty verdict after a four-week civil trial. Listening to more than 70 witnesses' testimonies, the King family, who filed a civil suit, was awarded $100, which they donated to charity. Lee Harvey Oswald was Kennedy, by the way. Yeah. Just so you know. oh, oh, what yeah. was the guy's Sorry. name again? He had three names, too, you know. But James the guy who was a, Ray. James right, Earl right. Ray. James Earl Ray. It's hard with these three names. Who John the, Wilkes Booth, right. James Earl Ray. The dude who was Lee across Harvey. from the uh, balcony. That is, you know, government was behind that. Which we well, knew, but the fact and, and then and then here we are today, the the government and corporations monetize MLK, his name, his imagery, his likeness. Oh yeah. And you giving uh, up one hundred dollars. The messaging, the whole thing, and, and the government had the audacity to give to award that family $100 in 1999. Yeah, that's another button. Congratulations. You played yourself.